So this is Anne, um, Bryant, and Rob Hatch, and we are going to. Where are we going? Bar we are going to Bard Coffee. So Anne, tell me yeah. a little bit. Why is Bard Coffee special? It's special because of the ownership and the people who work there and the coffees. So the coffees come from far away. Coffee is a very special food that gets shipped from a long, long way away. And Bard bothers itself to roast and serve that coffee by means of manual extraction only, which means that we use French presses. I say we because I used to be a barista there. Uh, French presses and um, pour over method on a Hario V60, which all that sounds very technical, but it's really delicious coffee that's handled like the gift it is. Well, thank you. Now we'll go try it out and see if it really is all that great. Yeah. <laughs> and would you yes. introduce your friend? This is Jeremy Pelkey. Hello. How are you? He's, uh, he's owner and, uh, and uh, on-site manager here at BART. And um, he right now is pouring latte art amazingly with soy, with soy milk, which is a little harder to do. I hate soy. But he uh, still managed awful. to pull a tulip out of it. If you wait, oh. I'll make you something for you. That's beautiful. Thank and we'll, you. We'll have a run. So, Anne, thank you for ordering my coffee. I'm new to this whole thing. And no what problem. you call latte art? Latte art, yeah. There's, uh, there's basically there's like three main categories of latte art you see everywhere. Although there's other variations of it. You see hearts, you see tulips, which are kind of hard to make. You see rosettas, which look like leaves. And um, it's really fun to do, and it's all about texturing the milk properly, and um, and then the control of the barista pouring it into something darker than the milk. So you can do that with chai. You can make that with um, with espresso in the bottom of the cup. But when you order a regular coffee, you don't necessarily. Uh, get latte art in a, like a regular coffee. Sometimes you can pull something off in an ole, like a cafe ole, but it's, it's latte art and cappuccino art. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Shana. Tell me about what you're doing. Uh, this is what we call the brew bar. Yes. Uh, these porcelain teacups on top are called parios. The way it works is we grind the coffee fresh based on the size coffee that we're going to be making. Um, and then we just add hot water to it, constantly keep it moving. And uh, this coffee should extract in about three minutes, giving a delicious tasting cup of coffee. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's too much Goodbye. sometimes. It can, be, it can be a lot of pressure. How did you learn how to do this? I spent uh, eight months training with my partner, Bob, who's my coffee roaster. Wow. That's beautiful. Oh, very, very nice. Sound effects are required. Thank you. And tell me about what's happening. Well, tonight, as the espresso machine, as the uh, dosing machine over there is going, um, so tonight we're having a Thursday night throwdown, which um, people do actually nationally, but we do it on the last Thursday of the month, and um, for five dollars, races can enter and compete to um, win prizes. But really, the the money raised goes to an organization called Coffee Kids.